Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So since I am wearing my Back to the Future top today, it gave me a little bit of a wave of inspiration and today I'm going to be going on about my top 10 favourite films of all time. These could be standalone films or film series. I've sort of just included the ones that came to mind. My top three, I'm just going to let you know now, keep changing, keep swapping in and out of just which one I'm preferring at the time. So if you want to see what my favourite films are, then just keep watching guys. So I have literally wrote them all down here. These are honourable mentions. So I am going to be doing these in order. It's just the order I wrote them down. So at number 10, I've got I, Daniel Blake. This is a independent British film set in Newcastle. Uh, if you couldn't tell by my accent, I am from the north. So seeing a film that is based on real life events that go on up here, you know, we're not all super super rich um, and seeing the effects of what the Tory government has done I'm not going into politics but it is sort of you know what the government has done to people who aren't as fortunate as some of us so I really enjoy that film. Nine is Back to the Future 1 and 2 I hate the third one we are not talking about that but I am a big lover of 80s films my dad is the one who got me into them so you can blame him um but back to the future one and two pretty much perfect films and i just they're very nostalgic i love watching them so they had to be on my list number eight is monsters inc um i do like monsters university but monsters inc is just such a iconic film and it's such a big part of my childhood you hear the dogs barking i've got a sully on top of my wardrobe i've got sully slippers I absolutely love Monsters Inc. It's a pretty, in my eyes, a pretty much perfect film. Like, there's not really much more they could have done to make it any better. It is oh, so good. And I watched it the other day. I love it so much. Seven, I've got As Far As Bueller's Day Off. Another 80s film, another film that my dad introduced me to um, when I was about 13, I think. This is another one of them films, just like Back to the Future, where I feel like I can put this on at any time during the day, any time during the year. I always just, it makes me laugh, it makes me smile. And that scene where he's singing, he's not singing, but he's doing um, Twist and Shout by the Beatles on the parade floor. It's just, oh, it's such a funny film. Number six is Just Mercy, which came out in cinemas in January. So it's a pretty new film, but um, I've recently started really enjoying true crime stuff. And this is based on a real life event of a black man being wrong wrongfully put on death row for something that he didn't do. Um, personally, this film should have been up for an Oscar. But another one of the films that's on my list should have been up for an Oscar and it wasn't so. I loved that film. If you haven't seen it yet, once it comes out on DVD, all that jazz, watch it. It is phenomenal. Jamie Foxx is brilliant in it. So is Michael B. Jordan. That's who it is. Michael B. Jordan is also absolutely phenomenal in this film. Number five, I have got the Toy Story series. That is one, two, three, and four. All pretty much perfect films. Three and four make me cry every single time. And I just think that they are genuinely phenomenal films and there's nothing more i really need to say about it you've probably all seen it if you haven't seen the fourth one watch it right now on disney plus get disney plus it's the best thing i've ever bought and watch it because it's so good forky is the best character ever ever just ever 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 sorry at number four i have got the kingsman film series um a lot of people have sort of criticised these. I love this film. These films. The first one is, in my opinion, better than the second one. Although the second one does make me cry. Spoiler alert. Country roads take me home. That scene makes me cry every single time. And if you've seen the film, you know what I'm on about. If you haven't seen the film, go watch it. It's so good. Um, these are also the films where I discovered Taron Egerton. And I'm big big fan of Taron Egerton. I think he's just 
he's such a good actor. Deserved to be nominated for an Oscar for a film that's on my list. For the film that's at number one. I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. Most of you are going to know what I've got at number one. At number three, two and one, you are going to know what I've got if you know me at all. Now we're into the top three. As I said at the start, these do keep chopping and changing depending on which one I'm enjoying most. At the moment, I've got Billy Elliot at number three. This was my all-time favourite film for about six years until I saw the one at number two. Um, and then I, I just sort of forgot about it a little bit. Um, but this film, so, so good. Jamie Bell is fantastic. He's such a good actor. And I love the musical of it as well. Um, like I said, in my, not my last video, video before? Oh, I can't remember. Like I said in the video, it used to be my favourite musical. Like, it used to be my favourite film. So, Billy Elliot, yet again, set in the North East. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. At number two, I've got The Greatest Showman. This is going to be not a shock to anyone. I went to go and see this 10 times, 11 times? 10 or 11 times in the cinema, and then I've watched it quite a lot since as well. Um, I love this film so much. It made me cry. It still makes me cry. The music is brilliant. I've never just, I've never seen anything move me in that sort of way like that before. It's just never happened. Before we get to number one, I've got some honourable mentions that films I just absolutely adore but could not do, could not fit into the top 10. So before I mention number one, I'm just gonna quickly rattle through these. Three things from the Marvel Cinema Cinematic Universe, the MCU. Mary Poppins, Richard Jewell, Parasite, The Dark Knight, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Deadpool, Bugs Life, the original Star Wars films, Train Spotting, Phil, Hercules, X Men, any of the X Men films, Spotlight, th Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and Zombieland. Again, great films. If you haven't seen them, go watch them. At number one, this is going to be not a shock to anyone, probably. It is Rocket Man. Um, Taron Egerton deserved to be nominated for an Oscar for this. The film deserved to be nominated for an Oscar. It was only nominated for one Oscar, but it did win it, so for best original song. Um, this film gave me a newfound appreciation for Elton John. I think he's phenomenal, such a good artist, and I listen to the music all the time and just still haven't gotten sick of it yet, so that is at number one. So, as I said, my top three, chop and chain all the time. My top ten pretty much chop and change all the time just depends on what I'm really into at the time so there we go guys there are my favorite films if you have any favorite films please feel free to leave them in the comments below along with any other suggestions for video ideas I am sort of like racking my brains because I can't get out and when I go out I get more creative so we'll just have to see how this goes so like this video if you did enjoy it comment down below as i said what you'd like me to do next subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you in my next video bye guys